my good buddy Morgan at Goatshaw Farm sent me a message. And in his message, it said, Jason, get this. One of my geese is laying eggs too. Because if you guys remember a few weeks ago, we found a secret nest that our goose Pringles have built and has started laying eggs eggs in there which is really strange and rare this time of year because geese don't lay eggs in the fall winter they lay eggs in the spring so morgan wanted to know were we interested in his goose eggs that he was going to gather them he had four and ship them to us because it was about to snow there like in a couple of days because morgan's up in vermont and I was like, shoot, yeah, man, we want the eggs. Because, see, Morgan has a breed of geese called pilgrim geese, which we don't have. And it's a goose that Mary Carl has been wanting. And what's cool about the pilgrim is they're super docile. They're not a loud goose. Thank you. And they're great foragers. And they're great parents. And another cool thing about the pilgrim is you can tell the gender from the day they're born because the males are almost all white and the females are almost all gray. And I'm up here at the mailbox and guess what? The eggs are here. If you guys don't know who Morgan is or go shell farm, release the quirkin! <laughs> he is the goose and duck guru. Go check out his YouTube channel. Awesome content. And be sure to tell him that the Cog Squad is paying him a visit. Now let's go get these geese eggs inside, open them up and see what's up. And we're gonna have to let them rest before we put them in the incubator. That one's busted. Ooh, just busted even more. Whoops. Okay. All right, that one's good. I'm trying to do this one-handed. And that one's good. So we got two. Two good eggs. Two were broken, but hey, that's okay. Can't control it. Things happen. Now we're going to let them rest. Then we'll put them in the incubator. <laughs> Check out our onion seedlings that me and Arlo, well, you know, just me, Arlo was asleep that day, but that uh, we started. Check these seedlings out. How awesome is that? If you want to know how I start these seedlings, typically in my house, but it's fall, so it's pretty warm outside. But how I start these seedlings, just using these cheap shop LED shop lights. I'll put a link to my videos down below and that'll show you step by step on how we do this. I Man, these lights are like 20 bucks. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna lock you up in the door. No, no, that's not a toy. That's not a toy. Nope, nope. Come on, let's go get some toys. Go, 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 go. Now that's a toy. What you gotta do? Be peachy. Peachy! Peachy says she's first lady. Peachy is first lady. Good pickings, I mean. <laughs> Guys, it's pretty this morning. Feels good. Ain't that right, Arlo? Good morning, car kill alarm system. There's Mr. Sim Sim out front this morning. Y'all remember our rescue goose? And speaking of geese, we're gonna go back after we do chores and check Pringles eggs and see if they're fertile. What's up, Nuggy? What's up, Nuggy? You get the water. I'm gonna let your boy Nugget out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stand in his path though. Nuggo, come on, Nuggy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, Starlight? Big Daddy. Nugget's gone. I see him. Nugget's on the run. Come on, 
on, Nugget. Show me what you got this morning. Stretch them legs out. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got that down there. <laughs> well, good morning, ladies. Who in the water before they feed? Hey, that's what they're wondering. Who's watering before they feed? Hey, I see Ooh. Nuggets making sure you're doing the watering right. I know it. Pete's going to be down here directly and you can go back. <laughs> Oh, so this one's not good enough. So y'all go back to make sure that the y'all go back to make sure that there's not a uh, one that's gonna be full of animal crackers or something. Well, I can guarantee you we're not gonna fill that trough up with animal crackers. Y'all are gonna eat goat feed. And look at here, Fifi, Capri, and Bo Peep, and Bootsy, and the babies. Funny how they all switch up and go to different troughs. Oh, Zella. Oh, that's Mr. Scott. Scott, you... I mean... Yeah, well, Scott making a home. You're gonna be beautiful again one day, buddy. And we do have a problem with when we bring the truck down here, the turkeys tend to want to get on the roof. So we have, to, going? we have to be careful. There's a barrel over there beside the, the brooder. brooder. Gotcha. How many ducks we got? Ten? Yeah. <laughs> Twelve? <laughs> we'll have to count them one day. We got the flock block. Okay. We got the oyster shells. Okay. Oyster shells are for calcium for the chickens. And what it does is, is it makes their egg shells harder. So if you're having an issue with egg shells that are cracking easily or that are soft, Get you some oyster shells, or even shells from the beach if you live close to the coast. You wanna write uh, GS on these eggs for gold shawl? Yes. Okay. You wanna candle a couple of them while we're got it open? To see if those Pringle eggs are fertile? Well, this is good news. Uh, oh! I put this one not too long ago. Maybe? Yep, I see the little baby in it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, at least we know some of them are fertile. We're good. Yep. And then in 30 days, Mr. Morgan little. from Gold Shaw, his pilgrim eggs should be hatching. Ain't that right, Button? Think what are you doing up here on Peaches? Peaches said, "Don't get loving me too much." Think so? I'm just loving on you, Peachy. I'm just loving on you. You make a nice seat, Peachy. Peaches, is that your new masseuse spa day for Peaches? I hope you tip big. You know she does. <laughs> so we decided to milk Bo Peep. Uh, the boys are gone. I know that she's uncomfortable and so we're gonna milk her a little bit and in hopes that we're eventually gonna just try to dry her up and that should help we we're just not we're just not set up to milk a goat all the time right this moment but we're working on that and since we had uh, Bo Peep on the stand we went ahead and trimmed her hooves for and we got a couple other more maintenance things we can do today with the goats. So it's time for us to give all our goats some vitamins and we've been using this Raplamin gel. I don't even know how you say it but a good goat friend of ours told us about this stuff and we've been using it. Uh, it's just got all kinds of vitamins and minerals and copper in it and uh, you get this little gun that automatically shoots the exact amount that you need. It's been pretty awesome. And the goats really don't mind the flavor of it. And for the two little girls, the two little baby girls that are left, we're gonna give them some vitamins as well as to some probiotics. And it's time for their CDT booster. So, it's a yearly vaccine that most were, all goats get. Yeah, well, it's a yearly thing, but when you first initially do what you have to do, the initial shot and then the booster. Right. Um, crazy girls, crazy girls. And all you do is to grab the skin back behind their, their leg and make a little tent. Inject. Rub that. 
Okay. Topper took it in. Yes! You ready, Boots? Come on, Boots. Get you some of it. And while we're over here, I want to tell y'all what our plan is for a, uh, a milking station is, is we're thinking about coming off the goat house here, right here, and building a milking station right here, and putting a gate right here so we can just open it up, let them come in here, and we can milk them here. We can put their feed under here. Hey, I'll get this built for you this week. Do that. <laughs> you and me, Carl. Y'all handle that. We can get it, won't we? <laughs> it might have some chickens in it, but... <laughs> no more chickens. All the spaghetti squash that we got from the summer garden, we've been trying to find recipes to use with it. And we came across one that we absolutely loved, and it was spaghetti squash boats. And I'll put the entire recipe down below, or a link to it down below where you guys can check it out, because we put all our recipes on our website. You just take, and we doubled it because it was, you know, four of us eating, but we took four spaghetti squash, cut them in half, put olive oil on it, chili powder, and cumin, and then we put the spaghetti squash in a preheated oven to 400 degrees and let them cook for 30, 35 minutes. So while the squash is cooking in the oven, you're gonna take a skillet and you're gonna brown some ground beef and then drain off your fat and then come back and stir in some taco seasoning and add some black beans you can add cherry tomatoes and we added some corn. And then we let that cook for a little bit and get warm. And then we took out our squash and then using a fork, we broke up the squash strands and then we put the, the ground beef and the vegetables inside the squash and mixed it up pretty good. And then we put our favorite cheese you can use. Uh, we use cheddar cheese on ours. Put it back in the oven for about, oh, four or five minutes until the cheese melts real good. Take it back out, then garnish it with fresh cilantro, which I love. And let me tell you guys, this was awesome. If you missed that Pringles video when we found that secret nest, check it out right over here. And if you're interested in any of our gear, like our hats, check out that link right down below me. And as always, y'all be good.